Hello there, my name is Kevin O'Reilly. I'm the Director of System Solutions Engineering. We're currently at level 14 of the Wakefield House building in Adelaide's Central Business District. Wakefield House is a 19 storey building. We were asked to be involved uh, because the whole building suffers from a unique problem whereby the existing air handling unit contains a backward curve centrifugal fan, belt drive, that its mounting is so close to the cooling coil that the coil actually has very high velocity and a very non-laminar flow to the coil. And through modelling we were able to suggest and prove that we're probably losing about 20% cooling capacity, maybe 25% cooling capacity, because of the patching effect and the very high velocity. The high velocity also then imposed quite a high pressure drop, probably in the order of 200 PA more than the original design uh, designers uh, expected which resulted in a 10 to 15 percent reduction of airflow to the, to the floor plate. And this of course has an effect on both the air circulation, the outdoor air introduction and the heating and cooling delivery to the floor itself. We chose level 14 as a sample floor of which an EBM PAPS fan, the 560mm fan was chosen to deliver 3,800 litres at 800 PA. Uh, in the expectation that we would create a more laminar flow through the coil and that would give us a better cooling performance, bringing it back to the more ideal conditions that the core was originally designed and selected for. The retrofit uh, was done over a long weekend. Prior to the retrofit, we actually installed data loggers to the energy uh, board, the switchboard, uh, which uh, we achieved a month's worth of uh, energy logging data, which established the current to be around the 8 amp mark over the three phases. After the retrofit, we then put our data logger on the uh, board again for another month and it highlighted a consistent energy saving. We had about a 4 amp consumption, therefore we have about a 50% power saving. We were then able to uh, produce a document, which is the report available uh, and attached to this uh, video, which shows that we have achieved a 50% uh, energy saving. And that cost can be amortised over the remaining floors, the remaining 18 floors of the building, which can, is uh, for the client, which is actually a government-owned building, DTO or DT, and the building, and uh, they're using that document as a funding submission to enable the funding for the remainder of the project. So, if we look in here, we can see the new fan. So in here is the new external rotor EC 560mm fan, which has successfully delivered 3,800 litres uh, of, of supply air uh, at a pressure of about 800 pascals, which is uh, an improvement on the original fan. And as like I said, it's uh, pro approximately 50% energy savings. So it's doing it for about half the energy. So to summarise, um, an EBM PAPS fan was selected to do the duty of 3,500 litres at 800 pascals, um, purely to overcome the the non-laminar performance of the coil by creating now a pressurised laminar effect across the cooling coil, we've actually achieved a, uh, a chilled water gain of about 25% more efficiency uh, from the chilled water, a 20% increase to the airflow, and an energy reduction of just over 50%. So it's been a very successful outcome. 